Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. In recent discussions surrounding the Iraqi dinar, there has been a lot of confusion regarding the concept of lopping off zeros from the currency. Many have questioned who holds the authority to make such decisions and how it impacts the value of the Iraqi dinar. In this video, we will delve into the intricacies of currency red denomination, clarify misconceptions, and explore its implications for Iraq's economy and global investors. Understanding currency red denomination, firstly, it's crucial to distinguish between currency red denomination and currency devaluation. Red denomination, often referred to as lopping off zeros, is a process initiated by a country's government and central bank to simplify monetary transactions by reducing the number of zeros in their currency. This action does not inherently alter the currency's real value or purchasing power but rather adjusts its nominal value. In essence, it's a technical adjustment aimed at streamlining financial transactions and accounting processes, authority and decision-making. Contrary to popular belief, the decision to redenominate a currency rests solely with the respective country's government and central bank, not external entities like the World Bank, IMF, or WTO. In the case of Iraq, both the government and the central bank hold the authority to decide whether to proceed with currency redenomination. It's an internal process driven by economic considerations and administrative efficiency rather than external pressure or mandates. Dispelling Misconceptions One common misconception is conflating currency redenomination with currency devaluation or a loss of value. Redenomination does not inherently devalue a currency or affect its exchange rate against other global currencies. Instead, it simply adjusts the numerical value of banknotes and coins without altering their purchasing power. Therefore, claims that redenomination leads to a loss of wealth or hampers foreign investment in Iraqi dinar are unfounded. Implications for Iraq's economy Currency redenomination can have several implications for Iraq's economy. By simplifying monetary transactions and accounting processes, it may enhance financial efficiency and reduce transaction costs for businesses and consumers. Additionally, it could foster greater confidence in the stability and integrity of the Iraqi monetary system, potentially attracting foreign investment and promoting economic growth. However, the success of redenomination depends on effective communication, implementation, and broader economic reforms to address underlying structural challenges. Global Investor Perspective for global investors, understanding the nuances of currency redenomination is essential for making informed decisions. Redenomination alone does not alter the fundamental value proposition of an investment in Iraqi dinar. Instead, investors should focus on broader economic factors, geopolitical stability, and regulatory environment when evaluating investment opportunities. While redenomination may signal a commitment to fiscal reforms and macroeconomic stability, it is not a standalone indicator of investment viability. Conclusion In conclusion, currency red denomination, often misunderstood as lopping off zeros, is a technical adjustment aimed at simplifying monetary transactions and accounting processes. It is a decision within the purview of the respective country's government and central bank and does not inherently devalue the currency or hinder foreign investment. Understanding the implications of currency redenomination is crucial for stakeholders, including policymakers, investors, and the general public, in navigating the dynamics of global finance and economic development.